Hello friends, how are you all? Friend, my name is Balvinder Singh and uh, today we are going to deal with the managerial economics. In this section, we are going to study the managerial economics and the internet. Mean, the influence of internet over the managerial economics. This lesson is very very important because it is in the recent trend because internet is the very recent uh, invention by the mankind which influenced the each and every aspect of uh, humanity. And as here we deal with the managerial economics, so we are going to study the influence of internet over the managerial economics. So it is a part seven. If you are not going through the previous parts, kindly go through that because that gives you the base and the good hold over the basic concepts of managerial economics. So let's start the lesson that is called the managerial economics and the internet part seven. In this lesson, firstly we need to understand the concept of internet. Friend, internet is a very common thing these days, but we are not understanding the internet, the word internet in a proper way. Firstly, we need to understand internet is just the collection, collection of the computers all around the world, and they link them together to a service called World Wide Web. We all know that each and every website have a prefix like www, which is uh, the abbreviation of World Wide Web, which defines that the service World Wide Web interlinked each and every computer throughout the world. To a service, I mean by the service, and that is the network. It creates a network among all the computers around the world, and uh, this network is to be understand in a proper way as an internet. So the basic idea is just to interlink all the computers, all the information, data together to a service called World Wide Web. Today, around 460 million internet users we have in India, and uh, India is the second largest online market these days, and uh, we are just behind China. I mean, India is just behind China in its online population. But despite of this large base, internet users in India is was only 26% of the Indian population. It is very uh, sad to hear that only 26% of Indian population is accessing internet these days. But still, we are the second largest uh, country. Who is having uh, the internet population, or we may say the online population, as per the data revealed in 2015 by an organization? Apart from this, we need to understand with this ultra development in the internet, world becomes super highway of the information with internet. I mean, the basic idea is to understand that how the information flow throughout the world by using the service called internet, by using internet and its vast development throughout the world. The world became the super highway on which the information flow in a very soothing manner. So, after having the basic information about the internet, we need to understand the availability of information these days. So, for that we need to understand now libraries, database, market informations are very easily available throughout the world, and the uh, concerned persons like the individual researchers, firms, and the consumer. Have all such information in on their fingertips. They are just need to click few buttons over the keyboard, and they have such information through the vast libraries, database, and the market information on their fingertips. It is very good to understand that internet is a good place to start research. I mean, if a person need to start search of some information, like in managerial economics, so it is very good to understand as data is the most important aspect of management. especially if it deals with the economics so we need to understand the better uh, flow of this information is the better or the efficient economics managerial economics it is so we need to understand and we need to develop a very good understanding about this that the information technology is applied everywhere these days and it's in a very diverse way like the science manufacturing and finance and marketing used everywhere throughout the world so in the same sense information technology is also used throughout the world and it has very good implication and it uh, effectively increase the significance of the various aspects so in managerial economics it is very good to have good data i mean the efficient data and if it's available in a very short span of time so one can easily assess that information and analysis conduct analysis to develop good decisions over them now we need to understand that how the internet influence business throughout the world friend it is a very basic aspect but we are not generally think about the things in this way like internet affects the way in which business is conduct mean 
internet affects the business mean it's uh, functioning basically like the emails emails is the very basic aspect of internet but it uses the communication method mean it affects the communication method in the business criteria because prior to that uh, the things are to be communicate the messages to be communicate through telephones the courier boys and so on but now these days the emails uh, are the very efficient way to communicate among the various b2b organizations and b2c organizations as well they can easily and effectively communicate among them with a very short span of time and very effectively apart from that the second aspect is the payment the use of electronic money like the credit and debit card these days gives a very freedom to the consumers and the buyers to transact that is very effectively and uh, all the expenditures or the transaction nowadays includes in the economy which affects the macro level economic indicators as well I mean these days we are not having much black money transactions or the existence of parallel economy somewhere uh, shrink these days just because of this electronic money so now the payment part of uh, internet in the businesses is very important that uh, somewhere saves the efforts and the time of the business organizations the third one is the e-commerce e-commerce means the trading websites like flipkart snapdeal and amazon we all know that the culture of trading is to be changed by the span of time the previously we have the local markets then we have the supermarkets uh, then recently we have the trend of the shopping malls and all but now currently and the very influencing aspect of uh, consumerism in the trading among the world is just the online market which collate the markets throughout the world together and gives a very good platform to the consumers to buy the products and compare the utility of the same with his or her need so now we need to understand the basic aspect I mean now we understanding as the basic aspect uh, so here we are dealing with the use of internet in the manager economics best way to start a research or economic indicators at the macro level the various economic indices are available mainly whenever a person is concerned about the economic indicators he has to assess the economic indices that available on the internet uploaded by the authentic organization so as these days many of the authenticated organizations like nsso or cso in india and uh, many united nations uh, uh, development data is also revealed throughout the world by their official websites so nowadays the economic indicator we are at the macro level is uh, to be collected by the various authenticated websites of uh, the government organizations by using the internet on a single click and these days uh, we also know that it is very cost effective and effort effective way to collect secondary data for the research purposes as well even information for the micro economic research related to the many sectors like the industries firms are also available on the ma- in the cyberspace but the thing is that a person is to be very cautious about the authenticity of the data and it is to be collected from the websites of the authenticated or the governmental organization which uh, gives you the very uh, effective data for your research and uh, development so it is to be understood that the manager in economics use the data uh, for their research purposes which is available in the cyberspace and one can assess that by using the internet so it is very uh, good to know that these days internet provides such a good role in various aspects especially in the managerial economics where one can assess the huge data available on the library in the libraries in the data centers or the various uh, resources throughout the world now collate together by the service that is the www mean the world wide website so now it is all about this lesson i hope you got to learn a lot about the internet and the effect of this on the business as well as the manager economic thank you so much for watching this have a great day bye bye and take care